All right. Well, my name is Randy Lindsay. I'm here uh, today to present a live market scanner for MT4 uh, based upon MT4 Professional. I want to let you guys know that we are not here to give you any education, I mean, any trading advice, but we're only here to provide education and training, teach you how to use our platform. We're not teaching you how to trade or to uh, manage your trades in any way. So I want you to understand and know that. As I said, I'm Randy Linz. I am the tr trade coach and uh, head operations director here at MT4 Professional. Claudio Cardinal is joining us today. He's our product development director and our technology guru. If anything is going on in the world of technology, it's uh, Claudio. Uh, he's the mastermind behind the software itself. So I wanna make sure that uh, you know you, you're well covered today and the team is here on your side to, to help get you going. So what we're gonna talk about is a market scanner, the need for market scanner. What is a market scanner? We're gonna talk about MT4 Professional. What is MT4 Professional and the need for MT4 Professional? And I'm gonna give you a live demonstration, exactly what I think you should know and what's going on. Then we're gonna go into a special offer because everyone who comes to my webinars gets a special offer. I wanna make that available to you today to get started if you're already using MT4 Professional. And of course, we'll go through any questions and answers as we go along the way, especially through the live demonstration period. So make sure you use the chat window to enter your questions or comments or use the question and answer panel to enter your questions there if you prefer as well. So let's get right into it. So do you really think that you're able to check all the symbols and timeframes that are available on MT4? If you look at the 50 Forex pairs, the 20 CFDs, the nine time frames, that's more than 630 combinations. If you use MT5, it's even more because there's a lot more time frames to look at. So do you really think that you're able to do this manually? And if you can, well, how often do you think that you're missing opportunities if you really are scanning? You know, I think the probabilities are pretty high. You're missing a lot of trade opportunities. So today, if you're trading on different instruments, it's a must because you have to be diversified and you have to trade uncorrelated instruments in order to lower the uncertainty of moves going against you. Uh, so these are things that you really need to have on your side. You need to have as many tradable opportunities as possible trading different instruments and different time frames, and your portfolio needs to be diversified. So. If you had a scanner working on your side, that would be a great solution. So what exactly is a market scanner? From our perspective, let me define it for you. Market scanner is an automatic tool that allows you to scan the entire market situation at a glance for any symbol or time frame within your own custom rule sets based upon standard or custom indicators. While it's not a signal provider, it does give you a signal for when the strategies align. Based upon your strategy, it will tell you when <clears throat> the uh, setup has aligned according to your rules. One simple example is a cross of a moving average. It's a, it's a very uh, simple uh, result. What you wanna see is a gray, green box when you get a bullish cross and a red box when you get a bearish cross. The bullish cross, of course, is an MA15, the fast, crossing over or greater than the MA30, which is the slow. And vice versa, a bearish cross is when the fast moves below the 30. So if we had something like this, which is a spreadsheet with all of our pairs and different time frames that showed us bullish or bearish crosses across the spectrum, you can see how quickly we can assess the current situation across all of the instruments that we're looking at to see bullish or bearish setups. Here you can see that the one minute is changing quickly from a longer term downtrend. Here you can see that it's just the opposite from a longer term uptrend. And so these weaknesses are either going to be in continuation trends or they're going to be reversals. And so these are great opportunities for you to see and adjust to trading opportunities. So if you're using more time frames, multiple time frame technical analysis is usually pretty difficult to do on MT4, but now uh, what we want to see is the probability of increasing the trades in our favor. 
So when you look at longer term trend, you can see that the shorter term cycles are noisy. They go in the same overall trend because it's essentially the same market, but you're seeing that the longer term trend is in harmony, that, that the shorter term trends need to trade in harmony with the longer term trend. So this up, down, up, down, up, down, gets smoothed out into just an up and then a bigger down correction. So if you're trading these shorter time frames in the direction of the longer term trend, you're gonna have a higher probability that your trade will end profitable. And that's the whole goal. You're gonna take a lower risk trade and higher probability of a profitable trade. So if you had a market scanner that could help you in searching for these uh, long-term setups based upon multiple time frames and your own trading rules, that would be an extremely valuable tool because it would put low risk, high probability trades right in front of you. So the problem was that we could not find a professional uh, scanner on MT4 that met any of our criteria. Since we're professional traders ourselves, we couldn't find anything that met our needs. They were either too complex, which required high programming skills. They were too unstable. Usually a single tool which wasn't integrated with the entire system or it was incompatible with the indicators that were there. And there are lots of other issues that we were fine. So uh, in order to compete with the other traders or the other platforms, we had to have a scanner that was working uh, and it was easy to use. So our solution was to develop MT4 Professional. MT4 Professional is the number one scanner now on MT4 and MT5. Okay, It's a tool that allows you to instantly scan the entire market for setups that match your own unique criteria and rules. When you find a good setup, MT4 Professional allows you to enhance your analysis using multiple time frame analysis, which really isn't easy to do on either MT4 or MT5. And it puts out in front of you the high probability, low risk trade setups that you were hoping to find. So poll time. I've given you most of the information. Now let's see what you think about it here real quick. How can the market scanner best benefit you? Would it be for less risk of missing trades, less time wasted searching for trade setups, better chance of finding high probability trades or heck, I don't know. I don't have a market scanner, so I don't know what's best for me. <laughs> After a certain period of time, Claudio will uh, turn the poll off and then share the results with us to let us know where we as an audience stand. And of course, if you do have any questions uh, along the way, I'm I'll be more than glad to stop and uh, address your issues and your questions. But right after our polls, we're going to go right into the demonstration, the live demonstration session. So we'll be showing the platform live in action. Better chance of finding high probability trades, 73%. I think I couldn't agree with you more. I think most people would generally do that. Although the very last time we ran this poll, we had a pretty good uh, showing for the less risk and missing trades. So we got a different audience today, so that's good. So let's see what we've got going into this next one. Got one more poll right after this. Which scanner configuration most interests you? Now, if you're gonna be configuring something, you're looking for specific strategies. Most, most people have their own strategies. You know, if you have other strategies than these, just mark the other one. But uh, the most popular one is usually uh, involving MACDs or alligators or moving average crossovers. And so those are the uh, highest probability that we're going to find someone that has that as their favorite strategy. But if you have another one, then you can uh, feel free to do that. And after this poll, we'll go right into our live demonstration.
All right, uh, 43% are in the other category. So you're probably going to be using custom indicators on these things. So that's uh, understandable. MACD uh, uh, is uh, you know, under, very understandable because it's very popular and moving averages. So, so these are good, but uh, I wanna introduce to you the EMA and price concept because it is a simple yet highly profitable strategy you might consider looking at uh, or even possibly adding to your um, other uh, strategies. So we'll go ahead and uh, do that now. All right, so let me get this uh, up and running. Here is my MT4 platform. You can see I've got uh, three charts set up. One of them is a little bit larger than the other two. Uh, you can see that I've got a 1530 hourly chart I do have the scanner running over here on the left on uh, most of the Forex pairs. And I've got them set up on these same three time frames: a 15, a 30, and an hour. And you can see the scan that's going through right now. It's going through pretty rapidly. Uh, in the settings section, I have this scanner speed set to medium. But you can set this scanner speed to slow, medium, or fast, depending upon how beefy your computer is. If you have state-of-the-art leading edge computer graphics cards, the works, then you might be able to get by with running on a fast. Otherwise, medium is probably the uh, normal speed. If you're running on old grandma computer or a laptop that's not quite suited for trading, then you might want to run on the slow speed. Otherwise, you might run into some um, error messages where the calculations are running faster than your platform is allowing it. So one, that's one thing to check on. What I'm looking at right here is the EMA and price strategy. So what I'm, what I'm looking to see is whenever price gets greater than the moving average, this is an exponential moving average, then I want to see the box go green. Okay. Now, in this case, if it goes greater than, it has to close greater than on this bar right here in order to give a signal. So the 15 minute would have triggered green here. It would have triggered green right here. So in both cases, it would have triggered green. If I were to look at the second time frame, you can see that the first one, which was this one right here, right here, never triggered, never would have gone green. So I would have had a green, red, red because both of these were already in downtrends. I would not have gotten a green on the second time frame until right here. So you can see right here, green would have closed greater than, green closed greater than, that's two greens, and the third time frame, green would have closed greater. So that would have been my ideal entry point right there. So once I got this close here, then the next open would have been my entry point. So taking this as my entry, then you can see a 64 to 65 pip trade was right in my hand. The potential was there. Now you can see the crosshairs on the screen. Notice that as I move the crosshair across the screen that it keeps track on all three time frames. You see that? That's the multiple time frame analysis that you're looking at. You're looking to see that at this point, you're seeing that the alignment and setups were not good and I would not want to see that. You can see that the short came in right here on all three time frames. So this would have been a great opportunity for a short, which would have uh, given you about uh, 25 pips on the trade. Or if you kept it until the crossover, then you could have seen that uh, trade would have been a little bit less. But it's the opportunity that you're looking for and you're looking for these uh, using your scanner. So if the scanner shows you a green, green, red or a green, green, green across the board, then you're looking at that as a nice bullish setup, especially if you're seeing a setup like this where you see longer term is red, but the shorter term is green. So if one click on the symbol, let's switch to the Aussie Swiss, you can see that the close just went above the EMA but you can see the close is still well below the EMA. So this is probably just a correction. So stick with the downtrend. This is just a short-term correction. It could be a reversal, but I need to see the longer-term trend confirm that first. So there looks like there's still some downward uh, pressure coming in on this. We're riding a lower downtrend. So this might be a point for an upward corrective move as well. But you can see from the previous time frame that you got a double top. And so the 
probability is that the market's going to do a small correction and, and then move down. So that's what you're looking for. You're looking for these types of setups to get you in front of the trades that are happening so that you can take advantage of them. That's the idea behind it. So how do I get it to do it? How do I get this price and this symbol to switch over and tell me what to trade or when to trade it? Let's look at the configuration. First of all, it's called the EMA and price. Let me edit this configuration. On the right hand side of my configuration editor, you can see I have an icon that turns blue when I hover over it. This is, allows you to set up your charts setup. So the way that my charts look over here, this is where I define what they're gonna look like because they're gonna look the same every time. I click on that and you can see I have one large window and I have two smaller windows, just like I have here on the screen. If I make this a small window, if I add one more chart to this window, tile them, you can see that now I'm going to have four charts that are all equally spaced, 15, 30, H1. This one, I could make it even into a five minute, five, 15, 30 hourly. Select the template I'm gonna use. I want the same EMA and price. If I don't want the same template, click the plus sign, go to your template list, and then pick any other template that you want. In this case, I'm gonna use the uh, MACD template just to load it in. I'm gonna use MACD on my five minute, but EMA and price on the other three. If I click OK, if I save, then I close the window and click load. Because if I did any changes to this and don't click load and just close the window, it's not going to update my charts. But if I click load, it'll reload it from scratch. Now I've got four windows. OK, and you can see that on this bottom window, I've got the EMA and price, but I also have my MACD loaded on it as well. So I've got a template that allows me to look at EMA and price along with MACD. And I'm looking at that to see if I can get a MACD crossover at the same time that I'm getting a EMA cross, cross crossover. That's the idea behind it. Okay, so you can see it's very easy to set up and configure. Say I wanna go back to what I had before. So let me go back in and edit that. Let's get rid of this window. Let's make this window full screen. Everything's back to the same. I click OK, save, and reload. And I'm right back to where I was. Okay, see, it's, it just couldn't be any simpler than that. You can see that over here on the left, well, um, if you have a template that you've already created, then, uh, or if you create a chart, like for example, go to your templates, load up any of your uh, templates, like, uh, I don't know, popular. That looks good. This is some stochastics, RSI, MACDs, those are pretty popular. If you like this as a template, then you can just simply tell the configuration, that's the template you wanna use, and it will load that on all of your charts. Notice how the um, crosshairs uh, move around on the charts every um, on each one. Um, if you don't want the crosshairs to move around all the time, then just simply click it once with your left mouse button and that'll freeze it. And then you can just move your mouse around and move around a lot without it adjusting or affecting the screen position. And if you don't want the multiple time frame crosshair set up, then click the icon and turn the crosshair enabled to off. Untick this and it will change the crosshair um, on that. Okay. If you don't do anything with this chart and you just set this up and think it's going to stay, as soon as you uh, click on another symbol, it's going to automatically refresh the screen to the previous configuration that was set up in the configurator. So you don't have to worry about, un really, about messing up your charts or doing anything that would become unsightly. If you've used MT4 for a while, then that happens all the time. If you accidentally change a chart or do something different, it automatically saves it. Um, on MT4 Professional, it always remembers where you used to be so that you can always rechange it. Also notice the size of my window. If you change the size of an MT4 platform, 
notice that all of my windows changed size with me I, and my aspect ratios all stayed the same. So if I were to move this around, see that? Everything stays the same. That is just sweet. You don't see that on standard MT4 or MT5. You have to change and adjust these. If you wanna change the symbol, you have to drag and drop the symbol onto each chart. Now you can just simply click on one symbol and it automatically updates to all of the charts uh, just the way that you like it. All right, once you taste and, and get the feel of MT4 Professional, you won't want to go back to just standard vanilla MT4 because this is such a nice professional grade platform. All right, so let's go back to our configuration and let's look at the scanner. Now on the right-hand side, that was the chart. On the left-hand side, you can see there's the symbol list and the scanner. If you click that one, it divides into the two. If you want to change your symbol list, just click on that and you get a list on the left-hand side of all of your symbols that are available on MT4 or MT5. Simply select the ones that you want by clicking with your left mouse button and adding it with the arrow to the right. If you wanna click and select multiple ones, then you can hold the shift key down and it will automatically select everything in between. And if there's one in there that you don't want, hold the control key down and select it and then it will take that out. Once you have all the ones in there that you want, then simply click the right arrow and it will automatically add it to your list. Just like that. Some of the symbols, all right, were oversighted and that's okay. Say I made some mistakes and I didn't want to enter some of those. So I can just go ahead and click a few of those and click X to get rid of them. Okay. Or I can just clear them all and start back over and say, I only want to enter symbols that have the EUR in them. So I'll select that one and I'll select all of these. I can pull them all in and some of them I don't want. So you can see, I can just kind of go through and select the ones that I don't want. Click the right arrow, throw them in there. There's a few more that I didn't want in there. And then I got a good list of the ones that I specifically want on there. See, once you have this, you save it and then it'll be part of that configuration. I'll hit cancel so I don't have to mess up my original list that I had on before. See that? So my list is right back just the way I had it. Um, also, here's my scanner. So if I click on it, it allows me to set up my rules. Now the rules are the indicators or the um, specific strategy that you're using in order to change the color of the scanner boxes. Let me show you that really quick. I'm gonna close this and make, set it up so that you can see it. So see each one of these boxes are color coded based upon a rule set I give it. So when I go to the configuration and edit it, then I have a rule here. And in this case, it's the color rule itself is called the main CR, main color rule. It's a color rule that has three colors, green, red, and yellow. To see what those are, there's a small pull down menu here. If you click that, that shows you the current color rule. It's turned on because this tick mark, if you tick that, then it automatically gets rid of it and turns it off. So there's no color rule assigned, but you uh, click it and it turns it on. The pencil on the right is the edit button that allows you to edit the indicator, the configuration rules to find out what it's looking at. So for this configuration, like I said, whenever the moving average is crossed by price, price is greater than my exponential 15 period moving average, I want my box to turn green. And the second condition is if the price closes below my MA15. So that's what I'm looking for out on the cross. If it's greater than, I wanna be alerted to it. I want the color to be green and I want it to be red. Otherwise, if neither one of these are true, if it's like exactly equal to it right on it, then it's gonna color code it yellow. That doesn't happen very often, if ever, but sometimes it does. So, but if it doesn't, then it's gonna turn yellow. This is the lowest probability color. 
that's the rule set. I can make it as complex or as simple as I want. I'll show you a few more complex ones later on, but I just wanted to show you how easy, how simple it is to do this. Price is predefined and I set it up just like it is on the uh, chart. So if I were to click the plus sign, that allows me to add any indicator or that constant value from my computer. So if I have a constant like zero or 50 or 75, then you can enter that here, or you can get the output from an indicator. If I click on that, then you can select from any indicator that is currently available on your platform. Any of the trend indicators, the oscillators, the volumes, any Billy Williams or any price value. So I currently had price selected. In this case, price is the current value. You can go open, close, high or low based upon what you're trying to look for. Okay. Um, and if you're looking for any trend, if you're looking for the moving average, that's where this one's found, moving average, or you can find any of the other indicators. These are the standard MT4 based indicators that you have available, either on MT4 or MT5. Select the indicator specifically for that um, area and you're good to go. Okay. Once you select it, let me use the, uh, pull up the moving average. Then you can see that I have a 15 period simple moving average as my default. So I'll change that to an exponential moving average. And that's the one that I'm going to be looking at as an indicator. The indicator shift is just simply a offset to be able to look at a previous value. So a shift two would look at the previous close. A shift three would look at the close of two bars back and so forth. And so this, uh, that's what that's there for. If you're trying to determine slope or change in direction, um, that's what you're looking for is the shift there. Okay. If you have problems and you need a little bit of help, then there's, uh, we're just one click away. By clicking this, it allows you to go to our uh, solutions uh, ticket system to enter a uh, request for support to get you going, okay? Now, once you get uh, one of these uh, loaded on the con uh, configuration, it'll appear on the drop-down menu, just like you see the price and the moving average. And then you can pick that from any of the other uh, settings that you have configured here. So they're all going to be available with the same indicators that you lo just now loaded on these. Very simple, very easy to do. So let me go ahead and close these and let me show you a little bit more uh, uh, co complex solution. So if I were to look at the, um, here you go, MACD and signal, we'll load that one up. Then you can see um, I'm, I've got the same thing. I've got the MACD indicator. I've got the signal indicator. I also have my EMA and price all on the same chart. So if I were to look at the configuration, if I were to look at the scanner rule, then you can see I have a strong signal color rule. This strong signal color rule consists of a MACD which happens has to be greater than the MACD signal line. In this case, it's the MACD signal line itself has to be greater than the MACD base line. And so when I say signal line, that's the red line and the baseline is this. So if the MACD signal is greater than right here, then that is a bearish indication. That means that the signal line has crossed uh, above or that the base indicator has crossed below this red line. That becomes a bearish indication and you're looking to go short. So that's a red sign. Also, I said, and I want the close of the current price to be less than my 15 period moving average. So if this price closes below this 15 period moving average and I get a MACD histogram below my signal line, that would confirm a red signal. 
If neither of those conditions are true, then it's going to look for the bullish condition. If the bullish condition is satisfied, that is, if the close is greater than the moving average and the signal line is less than the histogram, and in this case it is, then I would get a green bar, which shows me that I'm in a bull trend. So I'm in a longer term 30 minute bull trend on the euro and it's currently in a neutral or default color because it's not bearish, it's not bullish. It's currently in between because it looks like I have a bearish MACD, but I've got a um, bullish um, <clears throat> price, price action. Okay, do you see how you can combine the rules into really simple strategies? And it's uh, very straightforward. If I wanted to add more complex situations, then I can do that here by adding con uh, additional conditions. Okay, any questions so far? You're looking at comparing item A versus comparing item B. And these operators, greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, not equal to, or equal to are available to you to do these types of tests to see where you are uh, relative to the outputs of any of these indicators. Okay. All right, then let's move on. So when I'm looking at this setup right here, you can see this is bullish, but this is bearish. So the MACD is, is telling me right here that that is a bearish setup, but price is bullish. So this is yellow. I'm, I'm waiting to see if that's going to confirm. You can see also that the longer term is bullish and you can see it's bullish and that's what you're seeing. All right, let's see, the dollar yen is, has got two different ones. So you can see the dollar yen has gone bullish on the 15 minute right there. So you can see that the signal line is below the MACD. So this is bullish and this is bullish because it just crossed over. But you can see the longer term price is below this. So that's bearish. You can also see in this case, it's bearish because you can see that uh, is below the signal line. It just, once this bar closes, it just crosses over. So it would turn yellow on the next bar. So as soon as this current bar closes, then it will turn yellow. So this red box will turn yellow as soon as the next bar closes because this will then be bullish, but this will be bearish. So that will turn yellow. So that's the idea behind the analysis. That's what you're looking for. You want to be able to see that when it occurs. This looks like a potential reversal of the trend. The trend has gone down. Exhaustion, it's starting to stabilize. It's looking like it's getting ready to go right back up again. And you want to be ready for it. That's the idea. If you have a strategy that uses these types of outputs and rules, then that's what you're looking for. You want to set up your configuration to show you exactly how you trade on your charts and you want it to give you a bullish or bearish indication when those events occur. One more configuration. Um, I'll look at the uh, simple alligator. Now this is a little more complex in that it's using three different moving averages. Okay, so we're using moving averages that are all crossing at different time frames, but what you're looking for if you're following the alligator strategy is that you can see there are three lines. You have the lips, you have the jaw, I'm sorry, the teeth and the jaw right here. So if the lips cross the teeth and the jaw, that's considered a bullish cross. If the lips cross below the teeth and the jaw, then that's considered a bearish cross. You might just consider one or the other, but it's usually best considered if you're looking at both of those. So if you look at the configuration, edit the configuration, let's look at the color rule. Then a strong signal is given by this color rule where I have alligator three, 
has to be greater than alligator two and alligator three, that's the same one, the lips, has to be greater than the jaw. So the lips have to be greater than the jaw and the lips have to be greater than the teeth or vice versa. I would have to look them up to see. Now these don't say jaw or teeth, they say three, two, and one, three, two, and one. So let's look that up and find out why I'm using these numbers three, two, and one, okay? If you look at the output window right here, the data window, uh, this shows the outputs of each of the indicators that are shown. Click that and it opens up a pane that shows you the output of the indicators. So at any point that your cursor is located, then you will see the value for the jaws, the teeth, and the lips. Notice the order that these are in. So gator jaws will be one. Gator teeth will be two. Gator lips will be three. So this is line one, line two, line three. So when you go into the configurator, it's gonna ask you which line output that you wanna look at. What are you trying to find? So I want, I'm always referring to my lips. So I say, that's line three. I want, I want the uh, gator three to be greater than gators one and two for a bullish trend. And I want gator three to be less than one and two if it's a bearish trend. And that's what I'm looking for on the charts. Okay, that's all I'm doing. I'm taking these values and comparing them. So one, two, three. So when I go to my configuration, edit the chart, go to my scanner, then I'm looking for alligator three. Okay, that's the lips. Has to be greater than the jaw the teeth, that's number two, and the lips have to be greater than the jaw. How do I get these values? Notice that they're all available on a pull down menu, but I get these values by clicking on the plus sign. The plus sign allows me to pull up any indicator and if, if I don't have the standard indicator available to me, then I can pick from my computer. Now there's two different ways you can do it. I set this up picking it from my computer but the alligator is available as a standard indicator um, on the, um, right here, the gator. So you can see the jaw, the teeth, uh, and you can set that up to look at those specific ones. And so the mode, you're looking at the jaw, the teeth, or the lips. So you can just select any one of those. But say that you have an indicator that does not uh, isn't standard. You either wrote it yourself or you bought it from someone else or it's third party. Then select choose an indicator and pick from your computer. Then go down the list of indicators until you find the custom indicator that you're specifically looking for. In this case, here's the custom alligator. You open it up and you can see that there are many parameters that are here. If you keep this tick marked, then it's gonna automatically take the default settings for each one of those numbers. That's 90% of the time you'll see leave your default settings. But if you need to change them, then you go through the parameter list and the first 10 parameters that you see on the indicator itself, if you look at the indicator list, the first 10 parameters are gonna be in order based upon this thing. So parameters one, two, three, four, five, and six. You can see that right here. So if you untick that, then you would change these numbers to these numbers or to any of the other numbers that you want, and it will automatically update the indicator settings for you and do it that way, okay? So you'd untick this and then enter those values in, but if you leave it ticked, just keep these as defaults. These will automatically read the default value of the indicator. Now here's the indicator line to use. Take this and say indicator line one, well, that's the jaw. Indicator line two, well, that's the teeth. Indicator line three, well, that's my lips. So that's how I came up, the, up with those numbers that you see on the screen here, three, two, and one. I just have to remember though, when I pull these up, that three is my lips and that's what I want to refer to. So, and of course my data window is right here to remind me that three is my lips and so forth. Okay, 
So three is greater than two, three is greater than one. I know exactly why. This is my bearish and my bullish strategy. If I want more than one color, then you can see there's additional panels here to allow me to add additional color rules or color codes on here to do that. And you can see that these are OR operators, so it's going to do this one. If that one's not true, it'll do this one. So it's OR. And within the box, you've got the AND operator. So all of these have to be true in order for your condition to be true. Or all of these have to be true, AND, AND, and AND. If you need more in indicators, then you can just click an AND and add additional configuration criteria. Very simple. It couldn't be any simpler. Just drop down menus. Uh, pull up uh, indicators already on your setup. So most people usually take one day to acclimate themselves to the uh, a setup and the environment, and they're usually off and running uh, in no time. Are there any questions here before we move on? Because I'd like to uh, give you guys a very special offer before we head out and then go right into more demonstration, maybe even get a few uh, questions uh, as to what templates or what strategies you're currently using to see if uh, MT4 uh, can help you out. So let's get back to the poll real quick. So of the features that I showed and demonstrated to you today, uh, some of them I didn't even show you, um, like how mobile it is or how easy it is to use online. Let me do that real quick before we finish this poll, if you don't mind. Um, on your browser or your mobile device, uh, you can see you have access to MT4 Professionals uh, support page. So here, if you go to the main website of MT4 Professional, click the sign in button. Enter your username and password to log into the members uh, uh, area of the MT4 Professional website. And click on number six, visit the visit the help and documentation center. That'll take you right to our wiki page. This is the page that, helps, uh, that allows you to go through any of the information that you need to know our knowledge base uh, to determine support, uh, setup, installation, and how to go through and configure these things. Now, these can include all the rules that go through all the uh, preset conditions we've given you as well. So it's all listed right there. Here in the members area, you can see that this, that's where you would download your software. So you download the current version, either MT4 or MT5, and the most recent version is listed right there next to the software. And um, onboarding steps to help walk you through uh, getting started with MT4 Professional. Now, if you're using the real-time scanner, then I want to show you that real quick. Let me get my platform back up again. And let me get my browser. If I go over to my real-time scanner, then you can see that um, the current scanner that I've got on my screen here isn't listed. So I'm gonna pull up my computer. This is the current account that I'm running. And notice that the scanner that's on this list here is the exact same scanner that I have on my platform. Now this is on my mobile device right here. This is on my main platform. But watch when I click on a symbol like the pound dollar. I have the euro loaded on all of my charts, but I'm going to click on the pound dollar. And the pound dollar will automatically go to my computer, change the symbol, take a snapshot, and then retrieve that on my mobile device and show me what the current setup that I have for that is. So if that looks like a bullish configuration, then this would be a great opportunity for me to take advantage of. So you can see that the, the charts and the setup are a snapshot of exactly what I have on my computer. Right there. Okay. Back so I can get to that. So you can see in real time exactly what the status of your trade recommendations are based upon your own criteria for every symbol that you selected. So this could be on your um, your um, 
um, your phone, that it could be on your tablet device, uh, it could be on your laptop, and you don't even have to be around. You can be off at lunch somewhere, just check on things, and uh, and it'll do it. It'll check it up for you. You can uh, set everything up to uh, to alert you in real time, and uh, even on uh, send you an SMS message over your device. So let me go back to this poll. And you should have had plenty of time to answer the questions on the poll. And there's one other thing I didn't actually tell you or show you. Um, now it was the Traders Network. Boy, I'm just missing a whole lot because I got into a, a lot of the charts today. But uh, let me do that real quick. If you go under and configure uh, a chart, click on Edit, then this button right down here in the bottom right corner allows you to share this configuration with any other traders on that are using the platform. So this is like a network sharing. So it allows you to share whatever your configuration is with anybody else you might be working with. So it gets everybody on the same page at the same time. One click brings up a list of any trader that you might be looking for. And you find the person that you're looking for and share with them just one click and it'll share the current setup, the chart layout, the symbol list, your color rule definitions and everything will be shared with them. Just like that. Okay, so did we finish that poll, Claudio? Or did I mess you up? Oh, there it is. Uh, the scanner, of course, my rules my way. That's always my choice. Uh, I didn't I didn't tell you about the traders network until just now. Sorry about that. The single integration of cars. These are all really nice features. Uh, but but yeah, these are great. Uh, these are great answers. I like seeing that, of course. Um, yeah. Now I want to give you a very special offer. Let me see here. Is there a poll before the offer? There is, there's a poll there. I don't think that was right. Is there a poll, Claudio? Maybe we need to adjust this. Oh, there is one. <laughs> Are you currently using MT4 Professional? I am, yes, and I love it. No, you haven't had time to try it out yet? No, but you want to know more? No, I'm not sure if I need it yet. No, I'm not interested at the moment. That's okay, these are all uh, very good answers. Uh, everybody has to go through and kick the tires every so often, but uh, we made it so that's really, really easy for you to do that, uh, to go through and and check it out. So let's get into our special offer once this final poll closes and we'll give you an opportunity to get started with MT4 Professional today. You've probably seen a few of our emails going out giving you um, our special offers for the Easter weekend. But uh, those are gone. So today we're right back to our normal pricing. If you didn't already take advantage of that, uh, go. We got a tie between yes, you're already using it, uh, but you want to know more. Okay, so there we go. And we've got a couple of people who are, who just aren't sure. So let's go and see uh, what we've got. Um, there it is. So special offer for everything I've shown you today, the full fully featured MT4 or MT5 platform, um, exclusive Skype community access. So this is a, a Skype chat room with all of the uh, community people um, socially available on Skype uh, who are using MT4 Professional. You get unlimited uh, configurations and storage, uh, emails, push notifications up to 100 per month on SMS. You have all of our pre-configured uh, uh, configurations and presets all available to you. There's a, a really nice figure for that, but of course you're not paying that. We've set the price to $194 per month, but because you're part of today's webinar, I'm always giving everyone 50% off of our standard subscription rate. So you're $97 per month to get started with MT4. And of course you get 14 days free to try the platform out that's a long time if you think about uh, going through two full weeks, uh, getting your systems established and set up. Uh, 14 days to free trial. Uh, here's the link, mt4professional.com slash trial.
mt4professional.com slash trial, 14 days free. If you can see over in the chat box, uh, Claudio has provided the link for uh, getting started. Once the 14 day trial is over, it will automatically go over into a $97 per month subscription that you can cancel at any time. You can even cancel it at any time during the 14 day trial. You'll keep the full 14 days, uh, but it will not charge you. And the special will go away. And if you try to subscribe back again, then it'll go right back to the normal subscription rate. But we give you four, uh, 14 days uh, as a grace period to try it out and to give you a chance to uh, lock in the rate and to uh, see if MT4 Professional will work for you without charging you at all. So if you have any questions or answers, now's the time to do it. Here is the contact support for us, uh, support at mt4professional.com. If you have questions or comments or want to know more, about the platform, or if you get the trial and you have some questions with regards to that, or you want some help on onboarding, then uh, just simply give us an email at support at mt4professional.com and we'll be glad to help you out. Let's go over any specific questions and answers right now that I might be able to help you with. I'll put my platform back up here and I'll leave it so that you can still see the link at the bottom. I'm available. Do you have uh, any specific questions or strategies you want to go over? Is there anything that you did not understand? Are you familiar with the uh, F11 feature on MT4? If you hit F11 on your keyboard, it automatically makes your screen full screen. And notice how MT4 Professional automatically rescaled everything to match and fit the screen. Um, it's just a really nice feature. I mean, I really like the way uh, Claudio has put together the interface and uh, the charts to, to look at these because it's, uh, it just makes my analysis that much easier makes it a lot easier to, to check that out, to switch around, to change these configurations anytime that I like. But the simple click button and load and the scans are so fast. It's just, a, it's an awesome uh, setup and it's a platform to, to look at and trade on. Notice that as I change that, that my real-time scanner is updating in real time as well on my mobile device. And by simply clicking on any of those, and you can see that it automatically will change through and update in live, live in real time. So it shows me exactly where I am on the charts in real time. So you don't wanna miss out on all these features. These are truly professional features available on the MT4 Professional. Yes, uh, as I said earlier, you get all the alerts that come in. So if you look at your configuration and edit that, Go over to your scanner and within the scanner you can see there are real-time notifications here if you tick this then it will automatically start sending you uh, alert notifications within your mt4 system if you also are on mobile then click this to verify that your phone number is set up so that it will send you sms messages also automatically will be sent to you with a single click the size of your window Right here, see the size? This controls the width of your scanner window. So right now it's currently set to auto, but you can change it to small, medium, or large based upon the graphics card or the configuration that you're currently using. As you can see, these are ones that I've created, but you can see further on down, there are presets. These are the ones that come with MT4 Professional when you first subscribe. So all of these examples are currently available to you when you first subscribe. So look at all those. These are all the ones that have been pre-configured for you. So you have access to all of these. Now you're not able to edit any of these, but, but by um, um, creating your own custom configuration, you can use any of these as an example to start with. So you can pull those in and use them here, no problems.
Are there any pre-built configurations uh, for those who are using the Hawkeye software? Absolutely. Um, as a member of Hawkeye myself, you can see I've got quite a few configurations that are already set up. So while they are not part of the presets, all you have to do is ask me and I'll send them right to you. So Philip, if you are currently a member of MT4 Professional, then I'll simply click this, click my edit button and share it with you via the Traders Network. So let me look for your name. There you are right there. If I click the share button, boom. Now I've just shared the entire Hawkeye configuration with you for this chart setup. Now I've got another one right here. See, this was a two road kill, three time frame setup. This one has the two fat men loaded on it. So let me share that one with you as well. Okay, you should get an email now uh, that will tell you that I just shared those configurations with you. Also, if you open up this configurations window, which is click on the select a configuration, and if you scroll to the very bottom, that's your inbox. Down here, you will see received from, and then the name of the person who sent you that. So it'll say received from Randy Lindsay, the files that you currently have, okay? So you click on that, create your custom configuration from that, then it'll allow you to copy that in. So let me show you what it looks like. What it looks like is your standard uh, MT4 Hawkeye setup. And over here on the left, you'll see the configuration of the scanner using my Hawkeye rules. So you can see when everything goes to solid color, then I have multiple time frame alignment and I'm ready for a good setup. Does that make sense? So I'm looking for trend, volume, and heat map. I'm looking on the second time frame, I'm looking for heat map and volume. And on the third time frame, I'm simply looking for volume. All right, so let's look at my configuration. Edit that. So you can see I've got all of my color rules defined here. So for my five minute time frame, I can, I'm using all of my rules. I'm using the trend, volume, and the heat map rule. Uh, on the 15 minute time frame, I'm just using the volume and the heat map. I'm not using trend. And on my third time frame, I'm only using volume. Got the other two turned off. Okay, so that's that's what I do to look through that. And so you've got the exact same configuration and set up for yourself there also. All right, so it's already starting to show that there's some sort of weakness, but you can see the 15 minute is still very bullish. So you, you can't take that yet because this setup here hasn't fully matured and it's not giving you a good setup. This could just be a simple correction and pull back going into a continuation of the longer term trend. And you can see that on your second and third time frame road kills here as well. You're very much uh, welcome, Philip. Absolutely, glad to help. Go back a little bit. I'm gonna come on right there. There we go. Wow, that was a nice trade. Other questions? I think I answered most of them already. If not, we've got one minute left and I'll be hitting the road.
Again, uh, mt4professional.com slash trial if you have any questions. Now, a lot of the indicators that we've shown today are not included with your subscription. The configurations and setups are, and you have to already own the indicator itself in order to use it. So don't be asking me if these indicators come with the platform. The platform is the platform, but the indicators are what you load on your platform. These are all separate indicators that you purchase or uh, download yourself and use them on your MT4 or MT5 platform. Uh, but then you have full access to them within MT4 Professional. I think I covered everything sufficiently. Claudio, do you think there's anything that I didn't cover? I think I covered everything. All the features, the updates. In the uh, members area, of course, uh, the snapshot panel. There's a little snapshot button right here and allows you to take a picture of your, your workspace and then it gets uploaded into the cloud right here. So any pictures that you take are, will be automatically available right here. And uh, you can see that with each picture, there's a share link, or if you've made it global, it gives you the ability to socially share it as well. Um, this is new. I'm, I've never seen this before. Is this a new feature? Looks like a uh, window. Hmm. I've seen that before. Manage your licenses. So any licenses that you might have, you can uh, add them, move, remove them, or manage them within this window. You can see that there is a um, notifications and announcements tab. This will give you notifications of any scanner that you have running. And these are announcements that tell you when the so either new software versions are released or anything that we want to tell you that might be pertinent right now. And of course, we have referral links here. So if you click on this link uh, and you refer someone to MT4 Professional and they uh, end up becoming a subscriber, then we will um, we will pay you back. Absolutely, you'll you'll get credit for for any any subscription or any referral that you give us on this. So um, appreciate that. All right. Well, thank you very much for your time, your attention, your questions, your interaction. You guys have a great rest of your week. We hope we have these uh, special webinars every two weeks. So we'll see you in two weeks um, on Monday, which will be the 19th of April at the same time. Thank you very much. You guys have a great rest of your day and bye for now.